then move on to B stars, which again seems sound like it's like you guys think you sound like it's like the, like anime of the season, basically. <laughs> Dude, it I mean, kind of is. I mean, it uh, kind of is. <laughs> The story and then the plot development of the characters, mm-hmm. it's oh it's so good. It's I mean, painful for me every time the episode ends. I'm like, oh god, <laughs> no. Yeah, they always edit I mean, I guess episode one to two wasn't as great, but like each like ending of the episode, it makes you want more for sure. Cause it leaves you at like this giant cliffhanger as to what's gonna happen next. Um so with this week's episode, like Legosi, like his training has paid off. He's finally able to conquer his like inner lust for meat in a sense as a carnivore. Uh, but uh, it looks like there was a price to pay for that in a sense because at the very end of the episode, when they were trying to do a competition of uh, like your jaw strength, because apparently for carnivores, that's how you show off like your your dominant one, like you're you're the top of the food chain. And Legosi actually was actually the strongest one out of the group. Uh, but when he competed, he lost right away. He had like absolutely no strength left. And at the end of the episode, I don't know if he was trying or not, but it showed Lugosi trying to bite into an apple, and he couldn't even make, like, he couldn't even bite the apple whole. He, he had to leave teeth marks, but that was it. So now we have to figure out as to what happened to Lugosi's power. If the training was for nothing, or if he, like, like lost something in the game something, I, I'm not really sure. But, um, yeah, that was basically the, the cliffhanger that we had this week. Legosi, he's dealing with uh, going on that vegetarian diet like all the vampires and pop culture out there. That's the first thing I thought of. Oh, yeah, true. Poor true. guy. Um, and then we also saw a little bit more from Lewis as well. He met up with that. I don't even remember what species we decided she was, but... Um, a giraffe zebra? I, I forget. Oh, oh, Something Okapi. like that. We'll, we'll just call it Okapi because that's what it was. I think it's called... Yeah, that. yeah that sounds right from what you said. Yeah. Um, not too much. It's not really too much going on with him. It turns out he didn't shoot his dad, which I'm not surprised about. Uh, I didn't think that was going to happen, but it looks like they're kind of like in a truce. Um, he just went. Uh, Lewis ended up going back to the black market and doing what he's doing. Um, so not too much development there. I did find the scene between Lagosi and that female well, Juno. I did find that scene between them where he had to he he asked her out to so that he could stare into her mouth and look at her fangs so that he could start looking for clues as to you know who committed murder and that was hilarious. I was laughing the whole time. To clarify, he didn't ask her out. He asked her for a favor during lunch. Okay. I, well, I just meant he asked her to meet up with him. Yeah, oh, he okay. didn't ask her out on a date. See, I didn't. I said it the same way that she probably interpreted it, so I messed it up as well. Yeah. So I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa!" Like, go see, right? He's an innocent man, right? He didn't have any ill intentions. You girl just misinterpreted, just jumping to conclusions and shit. But uh, yeah, no. Unfortunately, Juno took it the wrong way, and she thought that it was uh, more intimate than it was. But Lagosi was just a man of science, right? He was getting some research done, so uh, he had to look at her teeth. Um, but no, I thought it was pretty. Uh, it was kind of like depressing too with uh, Lugosi kind of like come to a realization of what he wants and that he wants Haru. So when they met up, he asked her to marry him. So unfortunately, she didn't respond the same way. Well, I, I don't know. I, I feel like she, she responded was... that well. Like there was only one way she could possibly respond to him saying it like that. Like, I mean, he could have said yes, you know, but no, uh, they haven't even dated. <laughs> really? Haru the bunny. Yeah, yes. the little bunny girl. Yeah. But, but, I mean, I feel like they've gone through enough, right? No. And, and, oh, they're animals. They're not human. I don't know. They're in high school. All right. If, if I was in high school and I risked my life to save you and, you know, we supposedly had this romantic connection and we seem to have a good time together. I mean, I don't know. I would feel like it would be a good time to ask for your hand in marriage. Maybe. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Okay. 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 Hmm. But okay. So he saved her Sounds life. Yes. To me. But then, but then at the yeah, end of that. <laughs> Then at the end of that, um, she probably still has confusing feelings about Lewis. He called her out on it, didn't give her a chance to say shit, ghosted mm-hmm. her, and then at, like shows up and asks her. He didn't even show up. She had to go to him. Mm-hmm. And she finally caved because she obviously does care for him and went to him. And then right. he just says, marry me? No, no, no. I, I back her entirely on this. Like they need They need a little bit of time. I mean, as as the wise woman Beyonce once said, if you want it, you should have put a ring on it. So you know, this guy was trying to put a ring on it to to ha- have what he, to get what he wants. You know what I'm saying? So this guy, I don't know, it, like it really reminds me of like 
like I said, like these high school kids, this guy's about to go off to war. And then before he goes to war, you know, he might die or whatever. So he has his like high school sweetheart to marry him before he goes to kind of give him something to fight for. Like that was kind of the vibe that I was getting uh, as to why. He doesn't know everything he's doing. Like he hasn't told her the details. She can't right, right. Really appreciate that, you know? Right. Are but that's how school? I feel like, yeah, they're still in high school. Mm-hmm. But look, he's kind of going through all these things to catch the killer. And then, you know, he almost, he almost died in a sense with the last, uh, with the last ambush that he went through. Uh, so with everything that he's going to, it's possible that the next uh, like confrontation he goes through might be his last. Yeah. And then also he oh. really just doesn't want anyone else to have Haru. So speaking, speaking, speaking of his last encounter, or his next encounter might be last. I mm-hmm. think I, ha- I think I know who the killer is. Is it that giant bear guy? Yeah, it's gotta be right. I was even, I think I even said it like two or three podcasts ago. It's, mm-hmm. Is it a bear? Cause the only thing that I could think of that'd be bigger than him that we've really seen is a bear. Mm-hmm. And then I didn't even know that bear was in the drama club, but I've been theorizing with Stratton's sister about who the killer is. And she's like, Oh, there's a bear. And I was like, where's the bear? I don't remember this bear at all. And then what do you know? He takes the spotlight in this episode. So yeah, yeah really I think does. it's definitely that guy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he, he matches the character build, but I feel like that would be too easy, you know, like just to have him there. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but I thought it was kind of hilarious. The only way that he would know is if he were to like give him a French kiss or something, because that's that's something he has to remember the attacker by, yeah. uh, like what the inside of their mouth felt like. So, uh, yeah, I, I really do not envy Lagosi at this point and try to solve this murder. <laughs> he's going through a tough time in like three different aspects of his life. He, he's struggling. Yeah, oh, that's rough. But uh, yeah, no, like so far, though, everything has been going great. It's really uh, the story's really captivating. Uh, I, I could really care less about Lewis, but, you know, I, I don't hate the guy. I really like his character development as well. Uh, mm-hmm. He's not just some scumbag who who turned his back on everything. He still has some kind of like pride as well as to who he is and what he was before. So it's pretty nice. Um, yeah, I can't wait for next week's episode. Same. 